I'm Thomas Miller. I am 17 years old and I've been with CYT for about four years now. Probably the biggest thing about CYT um, is that there are the, the kids in CYT are the kind of people that you want to hang out with. They're the, they're the kind of people that are going to help you in your life. They're going to help you with decisions you have to make. I mean, the people that hang around you are kind of the people who you become. The adult mentors at CYT really invest and they really have helped me so much. They're like my best friends. <laughs> Some of the shows we've done have are just been amazing what, what a lot of the kids I know can do. And, and um, I would have to say Music Man was my favorite show that I've done with CYT. I did that last fall, about a year ago. Um, as you can see, I'm wearing the shirt right now because that, that was the most fun for me. It helped me grow with my acting. But you can't lead a band. I mean, not for any four well, weeks. Mars. And you don't know one note from another? Well, I have a revolutionary new method. Oh. Yes, it's a, called the Think System, uh -huh. where you don't bother with notes. But in four weeks, people are going to want to hear music. <laughs> you, sir, are going to have to lead a band. Ah, but when the uniforms arrive, they forget everything else. At least long enough for me to collect and leave. <laughs> oh, this is a refined operation, son. And I've got it timed right down to the last wave of the brakeman's hand on the last train out of town. I, I knew I'd like to be silly and stuff, and I would kind of be silly at home. I would, I would jump around the living room or something and listen to music and dance around or something and do Sebastian the Crab under the sea or something like that. <laughs> and I would go crazy. But, you know, after you come to CYT, you realize um, there is a purpose for all of that. And, and you can do that. Like, I would be a little bit embarrassed to do it in public. My mom was like, hey, look at that baby, you know, smile to the baby or make him laugh or something. I'd be like, mom, I'm not doing that here. Are you kidding? But, you know, after CYT, you realize, no, it's okay to do that in public. You can let that kind of out that if God has given you that. You can use that to put a smile on some people's faces that maybe haven't smiled, you know. It's really, a, it's really a family thing. The families get involved, you know. You can get as, involved as much as you want and have a blast. You think global warming's bad out here, let me tell ya. Ow. So come on, let's make it quick here. I'm sure there's plenty of others, masters waiting for me. So what do you want? Riches, wealth, a new healthcare plan, maybe a comb? <laughs> Who are you? My name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Wait. You must be the, the genie of the lamp. Bingo! <laughs> You're the grand prize winner of three wishes. You're on your way to paradise, courtesy of Continental Airlines. Let's not give anybody a seizure. Turn that off. I'm Ashlyn Jacobs. I'm 16 years old, and I have been with CYT for two and a half years. My first show I actually saw at CYT was Narnia. And when I saw the next show would be Annie Jr., I looked at my mom and I said, Mom, I really got to try out for this. So I really didn't know I had to sing for a minute on the stage. I was just uh, butterflies all in my stomach. I just didn't know what to do. His Royal Highness, Christopher Rupert, Windermere, Vladimir, Carl Alexander, Francois Reginald, Lancelot Herman. Herman! Herman! Gregory James is giving a ball. The prince is giving a ball. The prince is giving a ball. The first rehearsal, I was kind of just, I felt really alone and like no one really wanted me to be their friend. And as, as it kept progressing and progressing, I'd, there were more people that they just came up to me and like, hey, what's your name? Or, uh, what do you like to do for a hobby and all that? And so I could just feel the love once I stayed and once the rehearsals and the uh, performances, it just, I felt like part of the family right away the first time. Well, really my, my biggest thing, my favorite thing is to dance. And I really never had any training and, and I never really had any like instructors really tell me, oh, you did such a great job. and. You were fantastic, but when my first um, choreographer I met, well, her name was Ruth Broussard, and she just was so comforting and encouraging to me that I just wanted to keep going and going with the dance, and 
it's just, it's been so amazing. It's been great. <laughs> My friends, welcome to my chocolate factory. Would you come forward, please? Ruka Fessy, get back, you! Come on, Ruka, sweethearts. That's Slugworth, that's the one I told you about. Welcome. It's nice to have you here. I'm so glad you could come. This is going to be such an exciting day. I hope you enjoy it. I think you will. And now, will you please show me your golden tickets? I'm Ruka Salt. My dear Veruca, what a pleasure. And how pretty you look in that lovely mean coat. I'm Jenna Phillips, I am 16, and I've been in CYT for about four years. And when I first auditioned, I was super nervous. <laughs> I was pretty shy, so I didn't like getting in front of people. And everyone in CYT really just opened up to me. They really encouraged me, and they just kind of took me and led me and told me just to have fun with it, and there's nothing wrong, there's just gonna have fun with it and so I did and I'm so glad that I did and CYT is just a huge blessing in my life. I've met so many close friends like most of my best friends are in CYT now and um, I just I just love it so much. My first show was Wizard of Oz and I was super scared because I didn't know hardly anyone I maybe knew two or three people but probably within the first week, I knew like everyone and they were all just so sweet. They all just came up, hi, I'm this person, you know, and it was great. And um, I was so scared, to, like I said, to try out. It was so freaky to me. And then I tried out and I got a townsperson. Sure, I was a little discouraged, but I had so much fun. And then the next play, same thing, so much fun. And then that was, then I took a break and then I did Narnia, which was so fun too, because I got to be a cat, and I love cats. And, so, um, and then I did Robin Hood, and I tried out. I worked really hard on my audition, and I got the sheriff's wife, which was so exciting. So, and now I just feel so comfortable. I love going to CYT because I know everybody, and I love bringing new people in and make, you know knowing they felt the same thing I did. But now I can bring them in and make them feel how I do now. And I just love being able to wake up every day and thanking God for all my friends and all the awesome people that are so crazy talented that sing, dance, and act. And it's just a huge blessing in my life. I am man, I am man, and I know now that a face is my time here in the jungle. I reject the things you say to me, and this time, the decision is mine. I am man, I am man, and I know now that a face is my time here in the jungle. I reject the things you say to me, and this time, the decision is mine. I reject the things you say to me, and this time, the My name is Krista Keith. I'm 18 years old and I've been in CYT for almost four years. Um, the first time I walked into CYT was August of 2008 and when I first walked in I thought that I did not belong there at all. But within about two weeks that completely changed and um, it just became a really comfortable place for me to go each week and I just looked forward to it every single day of the week. In October, about two months after I joined CYT, my dad was forced to become a single parent overnight. And I remember that the first two people I talked to 
were my um, CYT teacher and her daughter Megan and I soon became calling her mom because she really filled that hole for me and her daughter Megan is my best friend and has been for three years and will always be best friends for life. CYT became a safe place for me to go every week and if it weren't for CYT being there during the year of my parents' divorce, I probably would not be here today at all. CYT has given me a lot of leadership opportunities as a student, um, which I've been able to take those experiences and use them for my future. Uh, this spring break, I went to Michigan and God kind of opened my eyes and pointed me in the direction He wants me to go. And I really feel like what He wants me to do with my life is to start a CYT or a theater ministry much like it somewhere else in the country. I've been a scholarship student at CYT for three years and with my parents being divorced, if it weren't for those scholarships, I wouldn't be able to, to be in CYT at all. And uh, it's been a real life-changing experience. So it's nice to be able to participate in one final season. <laughs> I remember walking in and thinking, you know, I don't belong here. And then it impacted me and now I get to be the person impacting the, the girl that walks in and is scared for her life and I was that girl three years ago so it's kind of a big deal for me to be able to be the one who's doing the impacting and not the other way around. Friends, put your hands together for the next big thing, Alice Liddell! <laughs> Alice, are you so excited to be here? Uh, yes. <laughs> and is it true that Missy Show is your mother's favorite show in the world? <laughs> yes, she's seen every single episode. Which means she's probably watching you right now. Oh, yeah. Is there anything you'd like to say to your parents at home? Uh, sure. <laughs> Hi, Mom and Dad, don't be mad. Oh, isn't she the cutest? The cutest. Now tell us how you plan to quit school and follow your dreams. I didn't ever plan to quit my school. In fact, I didn't ever mean to quit my school. Now look how hard work paid off for you. Isn't she cute? The advice I would have for kids who are going to do it, or thinking about doing it, would probably have to be just do it. And But you can think about it a little bit, say, you know, hmm, do I want to make friends? You know, do I want to be around the kind of people that were going to boost me up, encourage me, you know, help you become a better performer, a better, uh, you know, self-confidence, this a kind, yeah, it's a kind of confidence where you, that you feel throughout your whole life, too, that you get from CYT. So I would say, you know, join it even if you're not used to doing theater or maybe you're crazy about theater then this is the place for you you know there's no other place like it well my advice for the students and parents for the first time is don't hesitate it's it's a safe place to come and be yourself and it's it's a great place to meet new friends and just have a great time and it's a godly place and it's just an exciting place to be it's a great experience be prepared for sure. Know your song, your lyrics, and um, always smile, don't shake around, and just really express what you're singing to the directors. Be thankful for the role you get, even if you get something you don't want. I mean, you can always talk to your friends about it. I mean, just be excited about it and thankful that you're actually in the show and you're a part of it. Have fun and try your hardest. Don't feel like just because, oh, oh my gosh, I'm scared. Don't feel like you can go up there and just shyly sing your thing. Have just open up and have fun with it because the harder you try, the better it is and the more fun you realize you had. If someone's thinking about um, being a part of CYT, I think they should at least try it for one, two sessions. And if they're not comfortable with actually being in a show, work backstage because that's how I got started. I walked in and I took a class and then I ended up working backstage for Peter Pan, which was like the best experience ever. My first show that I auditioned for was Narnia and I was scared to death and ended up completely bombing. <laughs> but I still got a really good, um, kind of like a chorus role, but I got more of a dancing role. And so I got to be on stage a lot and experience that. Um, and it was really fun because I got to dance and I love to dance and CYT is the only place where I get that chance to do that. I've talked to a lot of my friends who have only gotten maybe a couple of good 
big roles. Um, some of them haven't gotten that at all. They've always been in the chorus or in the dancing scenes and stuff. And they end up having more fun than I get to have. So sometimes you end up enjoying it more when you have the smaller roles because then you get to see the whole thing fall into place. So it's just a really, um, wherever you are in the show, it's whoever you are in the show, you are gonna have a blast because it's a life-changing experience. In the green room, it's the most human place because, you know, people like have cover-ups on because they can't get food on their costumes or something, and they're kind of like running around trying to find their wig or their costume piece sitting on the floor. It's kind of a, just a very, you know, kind of raw place. But when we all come together before a show and we're, we start singing and worshiping, what I always love to do is just, I look around the room at everybody's face while I'm singing, and you see everybody come just praising God together. Um, it's, it's really cool to see a bunch of kids in a green room before a show, and a bunch of my friends just voluntarily just, you know, lifting God up, so it's a, it's a big thing for me. And I always just, I'm like, ah, thank you God for putting me in a place like this, so. If you want to see the gifts and the callings God has placed in your sons and daughters, invest in their futures today. The world is a stage, so let's take the center of it and use our God-given gifts and talents for His glory. May God bless you.